Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, the best place for all things sewing. I'm Katrina and today we're going to be spreading some holiday cheer with another Christmas freebie. We're going to be making aprons. This pattern comes in women's and children's sizing and we'll link this pattern as well as some other freebies down below. So make sure you check out all that information. Let's dive in. Before we get started, you're going to need your front pattern piece cut on the fold, four strap pieces, two of your upper side panel, cut mirror image, two of your pocket piece, two side bottom panels, mirror image, one facing piece cut on the fold, and two back panel pieces. We're gonna start with our strap pieces. You're going to take two of your strap pieces and put them right sides together, sewing with a 3 8 seam allowance on each of these long sides. And then we're, you're gonna repeat with the other set of straps and you're gonna turn them right side out and press flat. Go ahead and set your straps to the side and we'll use them later. Since you have your iron out, we're gonna switch over to your pocket piece. We are going to hem this top side, the wider part, with a one inch seam allowance. I like to fold over a quarter inch and then uh, towards the wrong side, a quarter of an inch and then another three quarters of an inch and then stitch in place. Go ahead and pin in place and then stitch your pocket hem. Now that you have your pocket piece hemmed, you're going to want to take your side panel piece, the bottom side panel, and you're going to take your pocket piece lining up the notches right side together. And then you're going to take your upper side panel piece and you're going to place it right side to the wrong side of this but it'll be 
right sides together with your bottom panel. Lining up these notches and we're going to stitch in place with the 3 8 seam allowance. Fold your top side panel piece up as well as your pocket piece. We're going to baste the pocket to your upper side panel. It doesn't line up perfectly, so make sure you ease that around and baste your pocket in place on both sides. Our side panel piece is complete with your little pocket. If you're getting value from this content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to join the family. Now we're going to take the back panel piece and our side panel piece and we're going to match it up right sides together. This notch on your side panel is going to line up with your pocket. And then go ahead and ease this curve to line up with this curve. I find it easier doing it, holding it up in the air instead of flat. And pin in place. It might take a little bit of messing with to get all pinned. All right, now that you have that pinned, we're gonna sew along this curve with a 3 8 seam allowance. Go ahead and repeat with the other side panel piece and the back panel. Now that we have our side panel piece connected to our back panel, we're going to take Our front panel piece and we're gonna lay it right sides together make sure you get the top with the top of your your apron we're gonna do it right side together line up this side and you're going to stitch in place along this side. If you aren't using a serger, I recommend going, after you stitch in place, going in and doing a zigzag stitch on your seam allowance to finish the edges so they don't fray. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our other side panel piece and our back panel piece and we're gonna do it right sides together with the other side of that center front panel. Okay, we're gonna take our apron now and right here where these um, notches were from our pattern piece, we're going to put our straps in between the notch and this side seam right here that we just did. So you're gonna take your strap, place it raw edges 
right along the top and you're going to pin it in place. I know it's a little bit hard to see with these matching plaids, there's a lot going on. And then we're gonna do the same with our other strap. Place it right here. Pin it in place. And we're going to baste these straps right along the raw edge. Now that our straps are basted to the front, they are going to cross over. So you're gonna want your right hand side, like when you're looking at your pattern or your apron, we're going to do your right hand side is gonna go over to the back of the left. So you wanna make sure that it crosses over and you're going to want your right side of your strap, because you did it, we'll call this right sides of your strap. It goes right side together with your bodice, the front part of the bodice. You're gonna cross it over and you're gonna want that same right side of your strap to line up with this back panel piece. You'll have a pattern marking. It'll depend on what size you're making, how far it is away from your edge. And you're gonna line it up with that marking. And you're gonna baste along the raw edges. You're gonna do that with both straps. You can do them one at a time if that's easier for you, but make sure you're doing the right side of your strap is gonna come over with your right side of your back panel piece. And then that'll create the straps. So we're gonna base those in place and come back. Now that your straps are basted on, this will be a good time to double check that they're not twisted and that you have them crossing over towards the back of your apron. So they'll cross in the back and make sure they're not twisted before we apply the facing. If everything lo looks good, we'll go ahead and apply the facing. Make sure your straps are out of the way. You're going to take your facing piece and line it up right sides together with your apron. These marks, your straps are gonna go right in between. So this one will line up with the inside of your strap, and then it'll line up with your seam right here. And these ones will line up right on the outside of your strap. Go ahead and pin or clip in place. All right, now we're going to go ahead and set your apron aside and we're gonna work on the facing. 
We're gonna take our facing piece and the edge that you marked from your pattern piece is the top edge. We are going to go ahead and finish the bottom with a narrow hem. I'm gonna fold up a quarter of an inch and then another quarter of an inch, pressing in place and then stitching along this edge to create a narrow hem. If you have a serger, you can serge along this bottom edge and then turn under and sew in place. Or if you uh, are running short on time, you can just serge the edge. We just wanna make sure that this edge does not fray and it stays nice and clean on the inside. All right, now that we have this all pressed and folded under, we're going to st stitch right along here to create a narrow hem. All right, now we have our facing hemmed. We're gonna set that aside just for a second, but keep it close. And we're going to take our apron piece, and we have these two markings from the pattern piece. And this is where our straps are going to go. So you're gonna take your straps. Once we get our facing pinned in place, we're gonna sew along the raw edge, but we're not gonna sew all the way to the end. We're only gonna sew until the hem allowance. And that will depend on what size you're making. I am making the extra small. So as you can see on your pattern pieces, the hem allowance is two and a quarter inches for the extra small, and that goes up with your sizes, and it's a three inch hem allowance for the women's and the extra large size. And we're gonna sew, when we get to that mark, we're gonna sew straight down, and that's right past your strap. So we're gonna do that on both sides, sewing straight down at your hem allowance. Now that we have our facing stitched on, we're gonna clip the corners of our fabric on both sides. And I like to clip this only on the facing so it's closer to the seam allowance. Leave, leave the apron long though. And now we are going to fold our facing towards the wrong side. Let's flip it over. We're gonna fold our facing toward the wrong side of our apron and we're going to edge stitch our seam allowance to our facing. So you're gonna wanna stitch your seam allowance towards the facing. It's a little bit tricky in the corners, but just do the best you can and edge stitch all the way along the facing pieces. As you're under stitching your seam allowance to your facing, make sure your straps aren't sticking out because you don't want to catch them in your under stitching. So make sure they're folded and out of the way. Okay, now that we have that under stitched, we are going to fold our facing to the wrong sides and press that in place. It'll give it a nice clean finish.
The last thing we have to do is hem the sides and the bottom of our apron. This would be a great place to do a mitered corner. I'm just gonna hem normally, but we do have a video on making mitered corners and we can link that for you. With your aprons, the girls' sizes have different hem allowances. I'm making the, the children's size extra small, so my hem allowance is gonna be two and a quarter inches, and it goes up on the children's sizes. On the women's sizing, all of the hem allowances are three inches. So just the children's sizes that have a different side. I am going to fold under a half of an inch and then one and three quarter inches along both sides. I'm gonna do the sides first and then the bottom. You can do the bottom first. Um, if you prefer doing it that way, I'm just gonna do the sides first. So we're gonna press that in place, turn under a half of an inch and then one and three quarter inches for this size. Make sure you're paying attention to the hem allowance for the size that you're making. All right, once you have it pressed in place, go ahead and edge stitch along your hem. And we're gonna repeat this step with this other side and the bottom hem as well. All right, once you get your bottom hem pressed in place you'll edge stitch along your your hem this is also a great pattern for getting your children involved it's fairly simple and straightforward wovens are a great material to work with and then so stitch in place once you've stitched along your bottom hem, you are all done. You've created a cute apron. It's great for any season, but I know a lot of baking is done around the holidays, so that's why we thought this would be a perfect time to come out with a freebie apron pattern. This is a great pattern to get your kids involved in also. It's very simple and straightforward, and they'll have a lot of fun sewing it along with you. Let us know down in the comment section down below what your favorite thing to bake is for the holidays. While you're there, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. We'll see you next time.